lunch, I packed myself some kimbap. Ooh, this one has fish cake in it. This is the perfect lunch food. Mm. I've decided to take a US history class all the way up till 1877. It is incredibly fascinating. I feel like I'm learning, well, not I feel, I, I am learning about just how America began. I feel like I'm starting like season one of America. bowls. We have it over a bed of fresh rice, some burdock root, and some red cabbage. This is amazing babe. I've never had, well I don't know if I've had burdock before. I think you've had burdock as like a little side, oh, like a Korean yeah. side. Mmm, that's good. Like well, it? I've had this like before. the burdock? It's, it's, it's yeah. familiar, right? Mmm, has a nice crunch. Mm -hmm. I didn't give Linda any burdock because it's kind of a tough food if you have no teeth. True. I mean, he's got like his front teeth. He has two molars coming in. Yeah, he has. Mm -hmm. How many buddy? Lunch, I decided to have some mung bean noodles. They're mung bean noodles. Mung bean. Yes. I just kind of freestyled it. I guess this is like a mung bean stir fry veggie dish. And of course, burdock root. Yes. Ooh, ooh. Mm. Mung bean noodles take like a second to, to boil. You just touch the hot water and then they're ready to go. Mm hmm. I made my veggie cauliflower pasta. Um, this has a veggie bouillon base. Mm. Uh, we're missing cream cheese, which is a key ingredient, but it's okay, we just made do. And then I also gave Lennon a butternut squash ravioli version. What a treat again, babe. Mmm, really? that's great, wow. Mmm, pretty good. Really good. Mmm, -hmm. mm, satisfactory. Mmm. Mm -hmm. 
I like when we eat, we're just watching Lennon. <laughs> Best show in town. Mm -hmm. You like it, buddy? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, kiss. Kiss. Thank you. All right, for lunch, I'm having something super quick. I'm having instant ramen, but I'm adding a ton of vegetables. I added bok choy and red cabbage because, yo, red cabbages are so large. You just really need to find a way to put it in everything. Mmm, mm-hmm. Oh my god, this brand's really good. Oh, this brand is perfect. If you don't like spicy, it's like completely mild. Mmm. For dinner, it's just me and Lennon. We are having doenjang kalbuksu. This is my first time ever making this, and I'm very excited because normally I always make doenjang jjigae, but not with noodles. Enjoy. Mmm. <laughs> you like the noodles? <laughs> <That's> you. <laughs> That's you. Mm hmm. Camera. For lunch, I made something surprisingly quick and easy. This is fish tonkasu. It's basically like fish cutlet. And I put it over a bed of red cabbage, steamed zucchini, and a little mound of rice. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. I like it. You like it? Good. Yeah. It's very crunchy. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. This is finally the last of the red cabbage. Red cabbage is a huge vegetable. There's so much of it. So much of it, yeah. But I'm glad that it's kind of like a challenge because I don't like to food waste. I don't like to waste food. So this whole week has just been a series of me just trying to put red cabbage in everything. <laughs> <laughs> You've done well, babe. Mm -hmm. For dinner, I made some salmon rice balls. I added some cauliflower that was left over from the pasta the other day. And then for our entree, we have kimchi tubu, which is tofu kimchi. I see some red cabbage in there. Oh yeah, yeah, the final bits of the, like now, okay, we're done with the red cabbage. It is now complete. It looks beautiful. Thank you. Thank you again. You get a bit of kimchi and red cabbage. 
and then you pop it on top of the uh, tofu. tofu, and then you just have it as a bite. Wow, I've never had this before. Mmm, mm. amazing. Mm. That's great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Tofu balance out nice. Right, yeah. Like I feel like the tofu is like a, it acts kind of like like a base, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a vessel, if you will. A vessel for the cabbage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's mm. really good. Mm -hmm. mm. Fantastic. I see this as me utilizing my leftovers. Uh, on one bowl, we have a bowl of my leftover rice, broccolini, bell peppers, burdock, of course, and then a hard-boiled egg. And then I have the rest of my tunjang jjigae. How will this taste? I don't know. I was this close on boiling some ravioli, but I decided against it. Actually, I think what I want to do is I want to put some of the, the soup inside my bowl just to give it some flavor. Honestly, guys, pretty good. Mm. Mm hmm. Yes. I'm testing out this new plant-based uh, burger patty, which looks pretty good. We've loaded it with everything imaginable. For the sides, we've got some normal fries and then some sweet potato fries. And then ketchup and barbecue sauce for dipping. Thank you very much, babe. This is delicious. We love a good burger night, don't we? We love night, a good burger we? night. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I just got lettuce. <laughs> it's a big bite. Just lettuce. Mmm. <laughs> mm. This patty. Good it was good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wait, it's actually really good. Mm -hmm. It's made with mushrooms. Is it? Mm hmm. Oh, 